Yo, what's going on guys, Swift Guy here and welcome back to another commentary. Today we're going to be talking about how Refraction was recently exposed for using Vape on his own live stream. He accidentally opened up his UI. He uh, recently made a response to all of the outcry from the community, shall I say, uh, regarding the situation. And uh, I'm going to be going into why some of that is flawed and what I think should be done to prevent this from happening in the future. So, first of all, Refraction, as I said, opened his Vape to UI on accident during stream while playing UHC with a couple of his buddies or whatever and there's uh, plenty of videos online you can search for and find of it happening on the stream alright so the tweet starts out with him saying he wanted to make a statement out of it about it before it blew out of proportion which is uh, interesting because he wants to like act like it's not a big deal you know we don't want don't want it to go out of proportion like everybody finds out about this or something like that. I don't know. Um, and the next thing he says is that he has nothing to hide, which is um, quite ironic because like, he's trying to come clean or whatever. It's ironic because he, uh, in the stream when he accidentally opened the GUI, he immediately like freaked out and closed his Minecraft, uninjected it, and re uh, relaunched it acting as if nothing had happened without actually admitting right there, like, oh, yeah, guys, I have eight. We're like, whoops. No, he uh, tried to sweep it on the rug like it wasn't a big deal. And then only after people started to realize, like, oh, hey, this just happened, um, then he decided to make a response about it. Um, he continues by saying he uh, had vape for a while now and was given it in 2017. Uh, keep in mind, that's been, like, probably at least a year now, so... Uh, it's not like he just got vape or whatever, used it for one game. You know, he's had it. Um, he claims he only used it on other non-Hypixel servers, which is hard to believe because, as you know, it's not you're not likely to get caught for closet cheating very often on Hypixel, especially if you use very low settings. Um, if you played, like, any competitive game mode, you'll know this. And um, so he's basically claiming he never used it on Hypixel, you know, trying to avoid himself of any crime of doing that in the past. But, I mean, we can't really prove that he didn't uh, use it or did use it. You can claim innocent until proven guilty. He uh, then goes on to claim he got rid of it until a week ago when he got mad while playing ranked Skywars after losing to multiple cheaters. And so he, out of anger, reinstalled it and uh, used settings to, so he could try and grind for masters. Um, quite interesting subject because multiple YouTubers have done this before, i.e. RKY and AoE. Uh, RKY was like... He denied it after got getting exposed, and uh, only got like a week ban, I believe. A week or a month, not sure. And uh, look at it now, he has a YouTube rank. So Hypixel not really setting a great example of uh, what happens when you cheat for Masters, or cheat on any any game mode, for example. He goes on to call himself an idiot, saying he could have shadow played the cheaters and easily reported them. Which, in his defense, uh, and although he doesn't mention this, that's not likely to happen. If you've ever like reported a cheater, you might know that they don't usually get banned. Uh, myself, recently, I reported someone for hitting me through a block very blatantly in Mega Walls, and uh, they were not punished for it, believe it or not. So, I don't know if they have been punished for it yet, or punished at all, but after the report, uh, like a day after, they were not banned. So, the whole idea of you could have just recorded them and uh, gotten the cheaters banned that were ranked, not very likely, especially the closet cheaters. B hoppers, yeah. I mean, you can't can't really deny that. But like, if someone's using reach, like eight block, they like, probably won't ban them. Don't know why. I really do not understand the high pixel staff system with uh, banning cheaters. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. He goes on to say that um, he was playing ranked the night before the stream, and he had vape on <laughs> during ranked Skywars, and that he didn't close his Minecraft, and we came back uh, the next day to play UHC. He still had it open and uh, apparently did not realize that, which I find it hard to believe you didn't realize you still had your client open and uh, then have the audacity to stream with it in. It's uh, hard to believe, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess if you're used to cheating on a regular basis, then you wouldn't really know the difference. He says he accidentally pressed the the vape button the G to bring up the GUI. That was uh, apparently another button to save highlights for, I assume, shadow play, which I don't know why you're that key would be the same as something else. I feel like he might have accidentally pressed it instead of pressing the same key. It, it doesn't really coincide there. I'd, why would you have two key binds for the... Or do you have the same key bind for two different things? Uh, beats me. I have no idea. 
and as he and then he mentions that he uh, restarted his game and uh, finished the stream with uh, blowing it off, not acknowledging it even happened, just you know moving on. Uh, probably thinking that hopefully nobody would have saved the, the stream and that he could have gone on unnoticed without uh, actual like evidence coming out against him or you know someone having like actually seen that was solid and could prove it that he was actually cheating he's hoping like oh nobody will notice you know that I just opened a vape GUI hopefully I don't get punished for this and I'll just if I you know blow it off nothing will happen game's hard. He continued on saying that uh, it was completely gone from his computer and that he would never use it again, which um, as he showed earlier, you can easily re-download vape if you already have the account and um, so that doesn't really prove anything. You said you re-downloaded it earlier, so what, what's preventing you from doing it again except public guilt and shame, but you know, that doesn't stop everybody. Oh. Looks like we got refraction in our game, folks. <laughs> And this ties back right to the once a cheater, always a cheater ideology. You know, maybe in not all cases it's true, but for most cases it is. If someone's cheated in the past, they uh, are highly likely to be cheating again. It's happened over and over. Uh, you see examples of it all the time. And especially people who, like, enjoy it a little bit too much, then they uh, just always cheat. They never play legit anymore. Um, there's a lot of people that I know, at least in, like, discords and stuff, that play... Not only Mega Walls, which is my main game mode, but Skywars as well, that like don't even play legit anymore because they say it's unenjoyable and they would rather just cheat, even though it, like they don't, they just play the game for fun and that's what provides them entertainment, I guess. So I don't really know if Refraction is in a position to say that he's not going to use it again. Uh, if he's been using it, if he's like had it for this long, and never said anything about it, um, how could we know that like you wouldn't just do it again and just sweep it under the rug? act like uh, you you didn't do it because unless someone's like gonna record you or you make some mistake like that again which is highly unlikely um, you know one may never know continuing he says that uh, until a week ago he was 100% legit at least on high pixel and he's, over the five years he's played on it, he's never cheated besides this past week. And that he wants to move on as a legitimate player. And that he values his ability in this game very highly. And uh, his content, which is 100% legit as well. Which um, Clearly he was not thinking about that when he decided to start cheating. He says he felt guilty and he didn't post any content of him cheating. That's uh, because he felt guilty. And he also mentions that he should have listened to his guilty conscience earlier and uh, like gotten rid of it or admitted. I don't really know. He didn't state what, which one he meant. He says he apologizes and uh, that any punishment he receives is just. Um, I really got to give him uh, props for this one. A lot of people's apologies usually don't go like this. They usually uh, don't take the blame for it. They blame someone else. Like, I mean, he does mention that he's just doing it to kill other cheaters. But at the same time, he does take the blame. A lot of other examples, like RKY, you know, denied cheating, even after getting exposed. I'm, I'm glad that he can actually own up to it. It shows that he is a mature person, at least in some aspects. Then he provides, like, a sort of leafy is here type argument. He says that, he mentions that he's criticized people for cheating many times, and that by cheating, you're not uh, actually, like, helping. You're only making the problem worse because you're, you know, cheating yourself just to kill other cheaters, and it's like a a positive feedback loop because then other people see you cheating and they're like okay now I'm gonna start cheating and it's just like uh, you know the cycle and it doesn't actually solve the problem um, but I think that's just him trying to point out um, what people are gonna argue against him when he's like after this post because you know people are gonna point out that he has you know complained about cheaters in the past and that it's kind of hypocritical for him to do it now for him to cheat uh, when the how much he's actually criticized them you know, I think all of us have criticized cheaters, but then to go and cheat yourself is an interesting, interesting thing to do. You know, if you're if you're someone who's cheating in the game, I'm pretty sure myself and many other people can agree that you're not in any position to be complaining about cheaters, as you are basically complaining about yourself and uh, only adding to the problem. 
I also have to give him props for the end of the statement. He says that he this is the only thing he's going to say about the situation and that he doesn't want to bring more attention to it and uh, add to the notion that every good player uh, cheats because, I mean, like it is pretty annoying when you are a legit player that's good and everyone accusates you. I mean, obviously you could see it like, oh, yeah, I'm so good that I think I cheat, but then like some people use that to discredit everything you say but when in reality you are legit. And uh, that was the end of his uh, statement, so I'd like to read some of the responses to it. He's been receiving mostly positive feedback on this, which is uh, quite frustrating as, you know, this this is a situation that has happened multiple times in the past. And it seems like every time it's a public figure, you know, a big YouTuber, nobody really seems to understand that, like, by supporting them and making it, like, normalizing it, making it seem like it's okay if a big YouTuber was cheating, um, you're only adding to the problem and then you and yourself are, like, don't necessarily have the right to complain about cheaters. Xyphalophagus, some, I think that's how you say his name, I have no idea. He uh, said that, in my eyes, you're still one of the most respectful and genuinely kind people in the community. People make mistakes, it's just about how you bounce back after it happens. Um, I would disagree with that. I think he, like, uh, you can argue that he is a very respectful and genuine person. But at the same time, I would not say one of the most people. He's been, you know, lying about not cheating. He's been cheating for the you know past week, apparently, supposedly, is what he says. Possibly longer. We don't really know the full story. Uh, you know, obviously, if you trust him, you could say that uh, that those statements are true. But you know, I can't really say 100% that he's not lying. It's happened many times in the past. Um, always, obviously, if you get caught doing like a bad deed, you're not gonna want to like make yourself look worse. You're gonna try and do damage control, make it uh, hurt you as little as possible. Like, i.e., if you get caught stealing something, if they ask you, like, are you stealing? Like, you're going to say no immediately. You always try to defend yourself no matter what. It's um, a basic instinct of humans. It's try to protect yourself and uh, keep yourself alive. And then, yes, everyone makes mistakes, but I feel like I feel like that's a, a really overused argument, especially for people when, they, when they're cheating, that it's just a mistake. A mistake is something that usually, like, happens on accident. You didn't mean to do it. Uh, or like you weren't thinking straight, but I mean, he's using it for the past week. He's had it for all over a year. I don't think that's really a mistake. I think that's something he shouldn't have done, but he was doing it knowingly, like knowing well the consequences of his actions. So I think that argument doesn't really uh, prove anything in the sense that he's just making a mistake. Uh, it was repeated, it was intentional, and uh, he knew exactly what he was doing. And then another big YouTuber, really, I think is how you say his name. He said, shame on the people who dislike you now because of this. You're a great guy. I personally hacked in Egg Wars like two years ago. Everyone makes mistakes, though. Hope everything works out. Again, with the mistakes argument, that doesn't really help his case. I think, I think if you compare this to, like, a crime, you could say, oh, I stole something that was a mistake. Like, not really a mistake. Like, even if you're not 18, maybe, like, you know, you shouldn't be punished as an, like, uh, tried as an adult. But at the same time, it, you still did it. Like, you know, you knew exactly shoplifting is a crime. You knew the consequences, and you still did it. Like, that was a decision, not necessarily a mistake, an accident, or whatever you want to call it. And I feel like he's trying to use himself as a cushion, like, oh, hey, look, I hacked too, and, like, everyone still thinks I'm a good guy or whatever. But, you know, just because it's on Egg Wars, I think is on Mindplex, I believe. Just because it's a server you don't like doesn't make it right to go, like, cheat on that server. You know, the, those are real people running that server too. And they have just as much right to play the game legit uh, and have a fair game as much as we do on Hypixel. Like, nobody would be happy if Mindplex players just came over just to be hop because they didn't like Hypixel. Like, nobody likes cheaters. It's not like a different thing that uh, varies by server. It wasn't all positive feedback, although the majority of it was one uh, tweet that I liked. was uh, FV016. He says, the F is this, randomly having vape installed, cut the bullshit. If you don't get banned, the server's biased towards YouTubers or well-known players, which... Uh, they definitely are, as we've seen multiple occasions in the past. Um, and that, if you're telling the truth, then the last person I would have expected to use a hack client, shame on you. Uh, yeah, I, like, I don't think anybody would have expected Refraction to be one of the people that was cheating. You know, he was never a very competitive player. He didn't really, uh, I mean, he did play Mega Walls in the past, but he wasn't like, oh, I gotta be the best. You know, he was just like playing it casually or whatever. And he never really seemed to care that much. So it's it does put a bad, bad rep for... Uh, YouTubers, like, people you don't think would cheat, now you're going to be suspicious of, like, okay, well, if Refraction cheated, now they might be cheating, because, uh, you know, we didn't know he cheated until he accidentally did something, so how are we supposed to know that all these other people are legit? Um, because even if they upload, like, POVs and stuff, they might be cheating off camera or whatever. 
Another annoying comment that I found by CalTiv7 was, Easy, it's just a game. The content you created was dope. Who cares about the hacks? I think that's kind of like a scarecrow argument. You're the scarecrow fallacy. You're like completely ignoring what the actual argument is, like of how you're not supposed to cheat, and just breaking it down to like, oh, you still made the good content, so it doesn't really matter if you cheated or not. Like, it's another one of the YouTuber things, which is kind of a fallacy too, in in of itself. That uh, if people are uh, famous, people are exposed for doing something bad people will still side with them no matter what. Like, everyone does things that you shouldn't defend them for, um, even no matter how much you like them or how much they're, like, uh, an idol to you, you know? You have to f realize that in life people do things wrong and that um, they should be criticized for it and not just defended because you like them. Another comment said by Childish, oh, look at that, it might be uh, another cheater. He said, I honestly don't blame you, this is coming from someone who mains ranked, it's extremely rage-inducing, not even enjoyable. Basically saying it's okay to cheat just because the game is annoying, that's not really true, you should learn. There are other coping me mechanisms in life than uh, using an unfair advantage in a video game to beat other players. Um, you know, it's a video game meant for enjoyment, although there is competitive aspects, I do admit. You know, you should maintain your legitimacy for that competitive aspect otherwise it's not really competitive anymore if you're giving yourself an unfair advantage over others just to win Childless continues saying none of this changes who you are as a person hopefully people are able able to look past this mistakes happen again it seems like everybody's obsessed with the mistakes because it's worked in the past of saying oh they just made a mistake it's just like brock turner who raped um an unconscious woman at a college and uh his i think his uh Attorneys or his father claimed that it was just a mistake and that he's a young boy despite the fact that he's in college And I believe at least 17 years old, you know, you're not gonna sit there and say oh that was just a mistake You know that you know, he knew exactly what he's doing although it's not a one-to-one -one comparison of what um, Fraction did you know cheating in Minecraft. I know people are gonna point that out like you can't compare cheating in Minecraft to other stuff It's the same similar situation, you know, just because you know um, You want to get less of a punishment doesn't mean you could call it a mistake I don't think it necessarily changes who he is as a person, like, um, as an actual person, but in the perspective of, of the community, I think it changes his, uh, his credibility a lot, you know, uh, doing something like this and then not admitting to it. One of the things Tenny said, he quoted the tweet saying, would he have admitted if uh, he hadn't, would he have admitted if he hadn't um, accidentally, like, shown his GUI? And I think that's a definite no. He, he says his guilty conscience, like, might have caused him to eventually do it but I doubt it you know he used it in the past but he didn't admit it because he knew the fallout that would happen and how bad it would make him look but I think the fact that how long it actually took and the timing of it you know he waited until after he was caught to actually come out and say something about it um, really shows that he wouldn't have said it because you're not gonna cause yourself harm and to your reputation and stuff unless you're caught you know so I think the answer to Tenny's question is definitely uh, no. He wouldn't have he wouldn't have come out about it if he hadn't exposed himself. Another person who responded, Shotgun Raids, another large YouTuber who is uh, known for stealing other people's content and not giving them credit. He said, "The only people that won't like you for this are the ones who have nothing better to do than feed of drama. At the end of the day, you win anyway, and they have nothing in their lives. Keep it going, Mace." There's no real argument here. It seems like he's just insulting people who uh, d dislike the fact that he cheated. Um, Nothing better to do than the feat of drama. You know, this is uh, a drama situation, but I feel like there's there's a conversation to be had here, you know? Uh, it And, like, this situation can provide us with the the pedestal to actually, like, do something about it. You know, if you um, said something like, how should we fix this before this happened, you know, you probably wouldn't get very far because nothing, it, it, nothing has happened recently with YouTubers getting exposed. But now that this has happened... Um, everybody's going to be looking into it. Everyone, it's on everybody's mind. They're thinking about it, and uh, change is more likely to happen. Um, he also states that he wins anyways, and most likely the regard to he's going to get more views off of this and gain more subscribers and publicity, uh, which I think just shows how um, how good of a person Shotgun Raids is. You know, only caring about views. I understand YouTube is about you know getting views, growing your channel, and expanding your content. But if the only thing you care about is views, and that's it, like just like, what can I do to get more views? What can I do to get more attention? I feel like then you shouldn't be doing YouTube, you know? And you're not necessarily a great person in general. And then he says that people have nothing in their lives that don't like this. I don't think, I think he's just throwing out random insults to try and uh, 
make himself feel better. I'm not entirely sure why he said that. It reminds me when of you know when you're trying to have um, an argument or not necessarily. I know it has a negative connotation, but like not not a, a bad argument where you're like attacking each other, but you're just trying to have a, a debate, like you know trying to come to an agreement between two sides, and then because one side realizes they start losing, they start throwing personal insults and attacks at them to try it as if that somehow uh, debunks the other side's actual like argument. And so it, it feels like he's just throwing something out there um, rather than actually uh, looking at what the situation is. And now for what I think should be done in order to uh, deter this from happening in the future. I think um, fraction should be made an example of. Um, as I said uh, previously in the video, AOE and RKY are other examples of this. People who you know cheated and then whether they admit it or not, as large YouTubers, and then they don't really get um, punishments for cheating, per se. Uh, Hypixel kind of just blows it off like they're a content creator so they can kind of get away with it, which I think is the, uh, one of the largest problems is how uh, lax they are on their rules of cheating. You know, if you like start bee hopping around the game, you're going to get a week ban if that's your first offense. And then it goes to two weeks and then a month. And then like three months before, like, it's like, how many times do you have to get banned for cheating before they actually like, uh, do something about it, you know? And I feel like YouTubers should be, you know, held up to higher standards, you know, than just regular players. Content creators are the people that, um, lots of the people in the community look up to. They're like, um, this is the person who I think is morally right and will do the right thing, you know, they're the good guys or whatever you want to say. Um, and if they start doing stuff like cheating, then people are like, okay, this must be okay to do if they did it. Um, obviously that thinking isn't like a direct thought you have, but it's the whole idea that if they cheat and can get away with it for a long time, then I can do the same. And uh, I think like, it doesn't really make sense. So I think if we punish um, content creators at a higher standard than normal players, or we just punish uh, players in general uh, with less lax uh, rules and punishments, you know, if you're cheating, you know, and there's solid evidence and we don't have to be like, oh, well, they might not have been cheating, you know, just ban them and give them a punishment because uh, as we've seen, a lot of players feel like, you know, everybody's cheating on me and they're not getting banned, so why can't I do the same? And it's that positive feedback loop. So if we set an example of refraction, for example, then it's going to deter people from trying to cheat because, like, I, I don't know exactly what kind of ban I would give him. If, let's say, a perm ban, for example, then a lot of YouTubers are going to be like, oh shit, he just got perm banned for cheating as a large content creator with the YouTube rank. You know, maybe we should not cheat and not um, act like this is okay and uh, a good thing to do. Uh, Refraction did get his YouTube rank taken away. I don't know if he's been banned at this time. There's, uh, doesn't seem to be any information on that. You know, he was an ex-moderator. He was a moderator two times and YouTube rank. So I think if someone of this caliber is doing it, you know, they should definitely be set an example of, you know, we cannot allow this thing to, to just keep happening, you know? It's happened so many times and nothing, like, ever gets done. And it's quite frustrating for legit players, including myself, you know, fighting cheaters on a daily basis, reporting them, not having them banned, you know? But I'm not going to sit out there and go get a client and just cause the problem myself. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of any of the topics I covered in this video about uh, what I think, how refraction should be set an example, um, or how, or debunking uh, some of his arguments on uh, Twitter, or any of the situation in general. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. You know, this isn't just me ranting about stuff. I, you know, this is a conversation. I'm going to reply to your comments and you know, let's have a, a discussion. You know, I feel like. That's the main point of this video, to add more conversation, you know. You see, there are some videos out there that are just, like, covering it, like, oh, look, he got banned, cool. But, like, we actually have to talk about what went wrong, why it went wrong, and what we can do to prevent this, which I believe I covered all three in this video. And I'd uh, love to know your thoughts. And if you guys want more commentaries on any other topics, let me know. I'll be sure to look into those. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.